Hello, viewers, and welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Uh, yeah, in the last video, we uh, discovered Plankton created an army of robots to steal the formula, but he forgot to set it to obey mode, and now they're just freaking havoc on Bikini Bottom. Oh, and. And SpongeBob and Patrick no, think it's their fault? Which is kind of messed up. Hey, huh? W what? Oh my god, Spermaid oh, Man. Yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to I don't to think this is you? his voice actor either. That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Why? Also, Spongebob, well, how do you know massaging that? massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! My god! Massaging your what feet the? isn't working. I what was that cutaway? More direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Okay, and with that, I'm gonna pause the video, because I think my puppy wants attention. I'll be right back. And I'm back. It does feel weird to pause the video right after starting it, but that's okay. Uh, we will not be clipping his toenails. Come, Patrick! We will be saving Patrick. I don't understand how SpongeBob knew he was in trouble. Um, but Patrick is down this, uh, this little slide here. Um... Hey, am I crazy, or is the sound delayed? Hold on, that's kind of weird. So weird! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop the recording and see if I can fix this. Alright, and I'm back again. I fixed it and I don't know how. So hopefully it stays fixed. Um I am gonna open this box so we can teleport back here if we need to. I don't believe we ever do, but uh Oh yeah, so here's a slide. Um for some reason SpongeBob uses his tongue to slide, but uh yeah, you're gonna come across these in uh various areas of the game and it's pretty fun. I took that secret passage to get that sock, and, ow, uh, oh, right into the water. Sometime. Well, that was my first death. There's a sock up on that cliff I try to reach. I gotta get up there. I love opening presents. Of course, if you miss, you just go sailing into the abyss. Oh, okay, that was much better. Yes, we're doing it for Patrick. We're also doing this for Patrick. We're gonna take on a swarm of enemies here. Uh, you need to get Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. The robots are guarding them heavily. You have to battle through. That's new. I don't remember it ever explaining that shit. I feel like it comes with the... I feel like it's self-evident. But yeah, we just gotta go up on these little pathways here, um, and hit these buttons. Like so, I missed. So not like so, I missed again, Jesus. Take out that Duplicatatron. Knock that guy off a cliff. There's gonna be some enemies down here. Beat them to the punch, that's okay. Alright. Eh. There's only one more button, I believe. And yeah, you could farm uh, shiny objects here, but there's a better farming location further down. That's where I'm planning on getting most of my shiny objects. Ha! Like that, and we'll hit this. Which raises a pathway to Patrick. Lovely. I'm gonna jump down this way so I can kill this robot. He won't respawn because the duplicatrons are gone. Let's make our way up here. Hey, SpongeBob! Hello, Patrick. Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, um. the robots and the. Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know. <laughs> he just it cuts is, you off. But it looks important. Yeah, it's a golden spatula. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. No, he just accepts. So yeah, uh, 
we unlocked a new character, Patrick. Look at his stupid grin. <laughs> who, are you, who are you waving at? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! So yeah, um, you can play as three different characters in this game. Uh, I won't spoil who the third is, but the second is Patrick, which is awesome. Uh, he has different powers. You can pick up watermelons like this and throw them at switches or enemies. You're mostly going to use it to hit switches. Um, you can slam down like that. So bright. So shiny. And you can switch back to SpongeBob at uh, bus stops like this, but we're not going to do that. Because we kind of need Patrick to progress. But yeah, his ground slam is a little different from SpongeBob as you can angle it. So it's easier to aim with his, um, and also it has an area of effect. If a shockwave hits an enemy, that stuns them, which is pretty nice. Not only does it stun them, but it also lets you uh, pick up the stunned enemy and throw them, like you can with the uh, the watermelon. All right. Oh, it's gonna explode. Okay. Yeah, the watermelons explode after a. A certain amount of time for some reason. Anyways, check this shit out. You stand on the starfish logo and they throw it at the target. It just launches you. That's so funny. I think it's hilarious. Well, you can throw pretty much anything. Like, you can throw these. Yeah. I don't know why it would. Well, I guess the. Oh, Patrick! Why would you throw it at the ones beside it? I was, I was gonna throw it at these guys. Oh, I did not mean to come back here. I did not think that would happen. Alright. I love how the water looks in this game. I guess I should That's say goo. Better. I love how the goo looks in this game. The rock is talking to me. Almighty oh, rock, I am at your command. Dude, I skipped another dialogue because I happened to jump right when the cutscene started. Plankton said something, who knows. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? <laughs> so very tempting. Interesting relationship they have there. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Oh no, that's not good. Read my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs. I will not be see. reading signs. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. That delivery is so iconic. I'm sorry. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your Why life. Why does he so want to be vaporized? Work in my sweatshop, making low quality design. Oh, thank oh you. I cut him off. Sorry. Well, at least Patrick's uh, pumped about it. Oh yeah, so he actually has two different ground slams. One is like that. If you double jump and then do it. But if you do it after double jumping, it's a much stronger attack, so. Ooh, scary dark cave. Yes, we're in jelly Jellyfish. Jellyfish cave. Oh god, that almost hit me. Let's destroy these tikis, get rid of this uh, jellyfish. I could throw the melon over there. I guess I will. Eh. Okay, I don't know if that's worth the time. I'm just gonna throw out these buttons instead to unlock the gate here. Like, I, I never read these signs because I feel like they're so useless. Let's just see what they say. You never know. Remember, Patrick can throw fruit. Yeah, see, I'm not... I don't need these signs. Who do you think I am? I'm gonna get impaled. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna wait for the next cycle. I do like how they redesigned the spikes in this remake. In the original game, they were literally just, like, blue. Like, it made no uh, design sense. But now they look like, oh, that's gonna, that's gonna kill me. God, my heart. Oh yeah, Patrick still uses SpongeBob's underwear, which is hilarious. Um, but now they look like they're made of like bamboo, which is pretty cool. Oh my god! Get me out of here! Lower! Okay. Stressful. Ah! Okay. That's a little, a little dangerous, but we're through it. 
Gonna pick this up and aim for the exploding one. Take out the... The collection. Oh! Watermelons can also weigh down the weight buttons like that. That's a suspicious tiki. I don't think there's a sock over there, though. Although one is coming up. You can also use the watermelons as platforms to get a little extra heights. Uh, you can also stack the watermelons, uh, which I did incorrectly. What the? Patrick, why'd you throw it at the one up there? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to wait for it to respawn. I didn't even know I could throw it that high. Alright, that's more like it. Okay, let's just stack these up. Perfect. And open this box. Nice. Now, I think there's a sock behind me here. No? Oh, it's over here on this one. Yeah. Got it. Alright, wish I knew it was there before I climbed up extra far, but that's okay. No skin off my back. Woo! Up we go! Okay. And here's another slide. Patrick slides a little bit more normally than SpongeBob, thankfully. Just break as many of these tiki's as we can, avoiding the fire, because of course. Don't want to hit these tiki's either, because they will hurt us. Although they do give us. Oh, I guess maybe it might have been worth carry. it to get the shiny objects, take a little bit of damage, but I don't know. Um, I'm gonna open that box, and then I'm gonna do this. Another, uh, game mechanic exclusive to Patrick. If you throw the ice cube into the water, it freezes. So you can run across it. He runs really funny on the ice. Aw, uh, oh, 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 man. I'm running out of time. I want that purple, uh, shiny object. I think that's the first purple one we've seen all game. They're worth much more than the rest. Eh. Love to see it. Can I even make it back in time? My god. Alright. So here, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, shockwave here of Patrick's ground pound. Boom. Very nice. And the Duplicatron just brought them all back. Uh, for bigger enemies, it knocks them out like that, so you can pick them up and use them as a weapon. Pretty nice. I'm just gonna throw this guy off the cliff, because why not? Okay, I killed one. That's okay, because I just need one to hit this button over here. Oh my god! He came out of nowhere! Ow! Oh, this is, like, really hard! Eh. Oh. Ow. Holy smokes, that was difficult. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, well, we got the golden spatula, and we can move on to the next area here. I only have 200 pants left, oh my god. Oh, again, Die. again! Guess I'll grab these while I'm here. That's much better. Alright, and moving on. We're almost at the end of Jellyfish Fields. Uh, I believe it is the quickest area to complete in the game. Ahoy there! Squidward tells Ugh. me you're looking for the King Jellyfish! Discount, Mr. Krabs. Yes? Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I Ew. hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! You know, I always thought it was Spark Mountain. Because, like, jellyfish will electrocute you, like a spark. But it's Spork Mountain? Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Is there a reason it's called Spork Mountain that I'm not getting? I'm sure it's fine. Oh, we got a new enemy. These are actually one of the most annoying, I would say. Oh my god. Yeah, they have projectiles. That's rough, dude. 
Yeah, so they have a, uh, a pack of tartar sauce on their back. Okay, alright. Ow! What the fuck? And they take two hits to go down. So, not the easiest to deal with, that's for sure. But the tougher the enemy, the more shiny objects they give you, so that's a fair trade, I think. <laughs> I just love crashing down all the tiki's. Okay. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. All right, hop across these corks. I don't know why they're here, but hello, Puff. Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh yeah. Oh boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure That's out terrible. how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Show sure enough. For sure. Sorry. I could switch to SpongeBob, but this is infinitely easier with Patrick. Um, in fact, I think it's impossible to do it with SpongeBob because we're going to need to throw some enemies here. I. It took me so long to figure this out as a kid. You're supposed to throw the enemies. Get out of here. You're supposed to throw the enemies at the fountains to like lower the water level. How are you supposed to figure that shit out as a kid? I guess it wouldn't take long to, like, trial and error your way through it. Ouch! Ow! I was hoping you would spawn faster, so you'd go dizzy from the shockwave, but oh well. That's much better. Alright, only a couple more fountains left. Spawn more, Mr. Duplicatron. Oh, this is gonna be... Ah! Oh, I think I was saved by the cutscene there. You do have invulnerability when a cutscene's playing, which I do appreciate. And there we go. Now, there are 100 golden spatulas in total in this game, so we're already almost 10% of the way done. Um, not quite, though. Now, I do think this is the moment where you should switch to Spongebob. By the way, all the NPCs have different lines depending on who you're playing Tell as. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. Oh, it's very real, Mrs. Puff. Get ready for the next lesson, all right? Anyways, new Tiki's here, um, they have big ears, so they can hear you coming, you gotta sneak up on them like this. Oh, I think there's a, I think there's a button, yeah, okay, if I push the shoulder button, I can just toggle sneak, which is great. Uh, in the other game, in the original game, you had to just tilt the joystick slightly, which was actually kind of difficult. Um, but yeah, I think jumping doesn't scare them. But yeah, if you if you if you're too loud in your approach, um, they actually shrink down and vanish. Yeah, it's really weird. Also, SpongeBob's the only one that can sneak. Uh, the other two characters, Patrick and the undisclosed third person, cannot sneak. So. You'll probably guess who the third person is. There have been hints, uh, so far. Oh! I got, I got lucky. Okay, we'll just blow him up with the, uh, Thunder Tiki there. He's probably dead by now. Um, I don't think there's a reason to go up this way yet, but I'm gonna check just to be sure. Ow! God, they get so many lucky shots. Oh yeah, there's no, there's no way to hit those tiki's from here. Um, so we'll come back for that later. I'm sure it gives you like a sock or something. This guy's mustache. And his bow tie. He's so cool. Sorry. Um, I do like the uh, like random spot. people just walking around. You can't even talk to them. Fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah, I'm just gonna activate all these Thunder Tiki's and then run away, leave them to blow up the, uh, Tiki's. 
uh, no matter how far away you are, when a Thunder Tiki explodes, you'll get all the shiny objects from it, so that's pretty nice. You know, just, like, wait. Oh, he spawned another one! Get out of here! That sign's just saying Thunder like Tiki's are the stuff. only way to blow up those stone Tiki's. Normal attacks won't cut it. Fresh like a spring breeze. All right, all right. There is a duplicator charm back there. Luckily, we took it out just now. Wow, I'm almost at five thousand. Uh... Okay, this seems weird, doesn't it? Is there a sock down there, though? I don't think so. I think it's just some shiny objects, right? Sorry, I'm like, I don't want to miss out on, uh, any socks. There is a purple, uh, shiny object over there, though. Definitely want that. Oh, but it's like... Eh. Fuck. I didn't know where to go after that. It was just kind of hovering above the water. That's rough. Not too bad, though. We just had a checkpoint. And I do think, uh, I'm pretty sure all your shiny objects remain, so we still got that, uh, purple shiny object, even though we died. So, no skin off my back. Yeah, I mean, we're getting all these shiny objects again, so it's really a blessing in disguise if we think about it. Get out of my way. Ow, that hurts. Screw you. Oh my god, I only need a hundred- You know what? I think the remake also lowered the tolls, because I do not remember it being as low as 150. Who wouldn't have 150 by now? I almost have 6,000. That's- that's like insane. Oh my god, I forgot the stilts. Okay. Oh, I almost didn't make that, Jesus. Oh, when you die, all the enemies respawn. That's why that stuff down there is back, but it's okay. Um. Okay, yes, I see you. You can defeat those in one hit if you, like, knock them off from a high cliff or something, but... Uh... Okay. Oh my god! How do I get that sock? Get out of here. Um, can I make this jump? I oh, know, there's like a way to it later on. Alright, I'll just have to remember that. If I had Patrick, I could throw the melon at these uh, tiki's and get shiny objects, but... I think I'll stay Spongebob for now. I don't even know if I have a choice. I don't think there's a, a bus stop nearby. Alright, get out of here. I mean, there's a sock too! Holy shit! I wonder if I'll have to use a guide to find any of the socks. I might. I don't think I know where all the socks are by heart. I really hope this will take me back. Oh, thank god. Okay. I don't want to have to climb all the way back up here. Sneak up on these tiki's here. We'll activate the thunder tiki and then just run away so it can blow up the sneaky tiki's. Okay, that's actually a really bad position for this guy, and I hate it. Alright, now's my chance. What? Ow! I wanted to get behind him to shove him off the cliff. You've just met the Spongeinator. I feel like a new sponge. Alright. Now, if I remember correctly, the sock was down here? Yeah. Alright, cool. You. Patrick needs to do laundry. Why does he even need socks? I guess that's just a cartoon logic thing. Why do any of these people need clothes? Um... Does this tilt? I can't tell if this is gonna tilt. I think it does. I'm just gonna jump the rest of the way up so it doesn't go down too far. If that even made sense. I don't know. Don't hit me! Okay. Eh. I totally missed. Yes, like a spring breeze. God, that guy's an MVP. For the robots. Let's pull up this wall here. I love opening presents. Can I jump across this? I can, but I think I want to go up here. Eh. Eh. 
I'll wait down this side and then run over. I'm not sure if there's a reason to be doing this, though. Um, what's up here? Just some shiny objects and underwear. Okay. Okay, I don't think it's supposed to be here. <laughs> Oh yeah, SpongeBob can wall jump, so if we ever see this pattern here, it means we can wall jump up it. Oh, weird. Oh, weird, it like locks the camera into place. That's an interesting choice. It did not used to do that. I'm not complaining. But it's just like Super Mario, you know, you, you jump. Whoa, okay, wow, the jumping is way faster in this remake. It, was, it used to be much sluggish. Much sluggish. Much more sluggish than that. I'm gonna take these guys out before I collect the gold spatula. But look at this guy, he's jamming! Dude, he's dabbing! He dabbed. Why well, does SpongeBob look terrified right now? Is he scared of heights? Wow. It's kind of a nice view up here. I like it. Alright, so uh, if we follow the sign here, King Jellyfish is right up here, so we'll we'll almost come face to face with him to get his jelly. To heal Squidward's injuries. Bubble Buddy! Gosh, everyone Whoa. is trying to help out today! Step quietly there. That King Jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck! You'll need it. Oh, Thanks, boy. Bubble Buddy. All right, so the game is split into like three main acts, um, each with their own amount of levels in it. Uh, and each one has a mini boss. This is gonna be the mini boss of Act One. So, uh, yeah. Don't be scared. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? I feel like we're intruding. You're singing the theme song of the area. <laughs> Alright, well we walked down him in the shower, so of course he's gonna attack us. Um... Oh my god, I... I just understood why his shower curtains are peanut butters. Cause peanut butter and jelly, dude. I cannot believe it took me that long. To be fair, I don't think it was that clear it was peanut butter in the original. Ah! I Slap like him again! Yeah, so basically he goes down to send out shockwaves of electricity. We've just gotta jump over it and smack him. Very easy, uh, first boss here. <laughs> or not? Jeez, I thought I had that timing down. Do it again. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> that's a new animation. I do think that's cute. I like that a lot. Okay, he's like birthing out little babies here. Um, I'm sure it'll be okay if we just run and wait for him to go yeah, down like again. I really try to jump, dude. That shockwave has a, a, a tall bar to pass. Just kill his children here. Ah. Easy peasy. And there it is. He's leaving. Dude, we, like, exiled him. That's crazy. Alright, well, we got the jelly. Um, I don't know, we... That's so weird. I, I remember, like, just having it when that cutscene ended. Um, there's gonna be little differences like, like that sponge. all over the game. Um, obviously, most of you guys won't have anything to compare it to. Assuming you haven't played the original, but... I'm gonna keep noticing it. And I'm probably gonna keep mentioning it. Oh, get the get the purple. Oh, I went too high. It shines. Okay, I see like a, a path over here. Uh. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? 
That was weird. Oh yeah, sometimes that hand comes in to put you back where you're supposed to be. I think it's hilarious. Dude, that was weird. I love opening presents. I thought maybe there'd be a sock down there, but... You guys see a sock down there? Oh, you... Oh, I see. I see. Well... Let's try this again. Yeah, some of these slides are not... Where'd he put me? Oh, where'd he put me? Okay. I skipped a lot of that slide, and I don't think I should have. Larry the Lobster. I'm gonna use this box. I'm gonna go back up to the top. Did I not open the box up there? No! Alright, well. If there's a sock up there, I'll be back for it later. See, no problem. You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. This is literally my first time talking to you. What are you talking about? What? Oh, I think if you miss the golden spatula up on this ledge, Larry tells you how to get it. I think that's what happened there. Anyway, it's supposed to take us all the way back to the start of the level, thankfully, so we can give the jelly to Squidward immediately. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Good. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Okay. Uh, what if I just gave you this? Smart call, Squidward. Give me that spatula. Oh my god, and there's a sock in the water I forgot about. Um... How do I... There's no bus stop here. How do I get Patrick here? Don't tell me I have to climb Spork Mountain as Patrick and then use that trampoline. Eh, I'll come back for it. There'll probably be a video in this, uh, Let's Play where I just go around collecting socks. I might actually call this video, uh, quits here, actually, before moving on to the next area. I think that's a good, uh, place to end it. Oh, and we have ten gold spatulas. Yeah, we definitely have enough to go to the next area here. Alright, well, in the next video, we're gonna be heading into downtown Bikini Bottom, where things get insanely hectic, as you might be able to hear. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.